Hey guys, it's Noah. Welcome back to iHollywood TV. Well, you can catch America's Got Talent Season 18 airing every Tuesday at 8, 7 Central on NBC and available the next day to stream on Peacock. We have another contestant from Season 18, Episode 2, Mitch Rosell. He is coming to us right now on Zoom. Hi, Mitch. Hey, Noah, how are you? Thanks for having me. Yeah, so nice to have you on the show. So, Mitch, your audition was very touching to many of us when you shared that your father, your dad's mother-in-law, and your grandfather, you know, lost their lives in a tragic car accident. Um, you know, how did music help you cope with the loss of your loved ones? Yeah, you know, music is definitely ther very therapeutic. So um, I would say it helped extremely uh, it, with everything uh, that I've ever been through. Um, I, I encourage anybody who, you know, you don't have to do it for a living, but just play an instrument because it is definitely therapy. Now, Mitch, talk to me about what made you want to go and audition for the show, because I think you are tremendously an amazing act. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate you saying that. Um, you know, for me, it was it was about the song. It was about that song. Um, I have never really pursued anything like that before, but I just really wanted that song to be heard. And I was trying to do it on my own independently. And, um, you know, I, I got a little traction, but I just believed in the song and I believed it needed to be heard because I've I felt, always felt like it could help a lot of people and just connect with a lot of people. And so mm -hmm. it just felt like a great opportunity to uh, to showcase it and, and give it a chance to, to spread its wings a little bit. You know, you performed an original called Son. Howie said that he believed the next day that this track would be number one, and it sure did top the iTunes charts. What does all this support mean to you the most, Mitch? You know, it's it's just incredible. Um, I, I've always believed it would connect with a lot of people, but it's just, it feels really cool to, to have that vision and then people actually do connect with it. So um, it's just been overwhelming to, to read some of the comments and just so many amazing things that people are saying. And um, it's just, it's just cool to know you're making a meaningful impact on people. It's just a, it's a special feeling for sure. Really great. Absolutely. Now, I'm just curious, you know, have some of your fans actually reached out to you to share their story on how your audition impacted them? And if so, what have been some of the things that you've been hearing? Yeah, definitely. You know, it's it's been so many people. It's 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 been a little stressful for me because I really pride myself on trying to, like, engage with my fans and stuff. I just had so much stuff on there. I'm like, I don't even know how where to start, uh, which yeah. is a great <laughs> problem to have. And I'm very, very flattered by that. And. Uh, but I, I've read some things and it's just it's really cool because we, we always believed, you know, my my team and I always believed in this song. You know, it, it, yeah, it's a very specific story and what happened to me. But we believe it connects with everybody um, because and it's been cool to read some of those comments where people are going, hey, I didn't even have a relationship with my dad and mm -hmm. I wish I had or what. You know, it's like no matter where you're what angle you're coming from, I feel like it the sentiment of the song is still connecting in some way. So that's been super cool to read some comments like that. Yeah. I, and, and very uplifting and inspiring. And it makes you feel good about the song that you actually wrote and it's resonating with people. And that's always a great thing. Um, you know, now Mitch, if you make it to the live shows, which I hope you do, if not, then what, uh, moving forward, <laughs> what, what is your strategy plan to rank at the top, my friend? You know, just, uh, going to keep playing originals. Um, you know, really, um, that's, I feel like that's my strength is um, the songs that I write and, and the uniqueness of them because they're they're from my perspective and there's only one me, right? So just trying to be unique and original and uh, hopefully, hopefully people, you know, gravitate towards it and keep connecting with the stuff that I put out there. That's awesome. I like that strategy. Um, now, Mitch, how was it like to meet the judges and also meet the host, Terry Crews? Terry Crews is a very tall guy. <laughs> he's huge. Yeah, he's huge. He's Jack, too, as everybody knows. Uh <laughs> super nice people super nice people uh the judges were hanging out backstage before the show started and you know we filmed and uh just very very engaging and down to earth and kind and you know really engaging with everybody which was it was cool to see and good to see that they were uh you know genuine people and um that's great yeah, got a great vibe from everybody they're a great group of panel for sure and terry's such a great host but mitch what's next for you as far as continuing to perform and write music like can we expect new music to release from you in the near future yeah, you know, we uh, we definitely there's a good chance of that for sure. We uh, we want to keep feeding the fans, you know, music, and we've got plenty of it. There's so much stuff that we stockpiled, and so that's exciting, you know, to have a lot of stuff we feel like we can pull from. And so we're gonna we're gonna see how everything goes, and um, but yeah, definitely a good chance of that.
Mitch Rosell, thank you so much for joining us on iHollywood TV. We wish you the best of luck, and we hope you make it to the live shows. We'll be rooting thank for you. Thank you, Noah. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thanks for your time.